Hey everyone, so today I am here to do a drugstore haul, and I haven't done one of these in a long time. Um, so let's just jump right in because I have quite a few things, a little bit of this and that. There's some makeup in there, of course, but I picked up um, just some odds and ends. It was one of those days where I was just kind of like, you know, browsing the drugstore, which is usually kind of dangerous, and there just happened to be like a ton of stuff on sale. So um, these hauls are going to be from Rexall and Shoppers Drug Mart. If you do not live in Canada, which I do, then those are basically just our drugstores. Everything I did pick up was on sale, and you can see a little head over there. <laughs> There's Avia. So if you see me turning around every once in a while, it's because she's like tipping over or she's like grabbing something she shouldn't or something along those lines. Whoa. The first thing I picked up was some body wash because I just ran out of the current body wash that I'm using, which I'm actually going to film a empties video shortly because I've accumulated quite a few bottles of stuff and I've been like hounding my husband like not to throw anything out <laughs> until I filmed this um, empties video but anyway so I bought this it's the soft soap creamy milk protein and honey uh, body wash I've never used it before to be completely honest with you I bought this strictly on the scent it smells super yummy and not crazy sweet but you get that hint of vanilla and honey and it's just all around goodness. I went ahead and I also picked up by the same brand soft soap this body butter strawberry scrub and can I just tell you that this stuff I mean talk about being tempted to eat your body scrub because this stuff smells amazing it smells like a strawberry dessert like straw strawberry souffle. While I was at it, I picked up a body wash for my husband as well because he was out. Um, so I just got him the Axe Sport Blast and it's the two-in-one shampoo and shower gel. They had like about 12 different versions of this and this was the least like cologne-y smelling. Um, a lot of them I find are like super overpowering. So anyway, got him this. So the next thing that I picked up was the Freeman Facial Clay Mask with avocado and oatmeal. I wanted to get it because um, apparently it purges your pores, which I don't know, that kind of sounds disgusting already. <laughs> but um, my pores need some purging. Um, I don't know what's been going on lately. I don't know if it's like the change in season or if it's just my hormones going crazy or like, I don't know what it, or maybe it's just because I'm getting old. Um, but my skin is going like a berserk and my pores are just not looking ship shape. Along with everything else I'm using in my skincare routine, I thought I would give this a shot and see if it truly does purge my pores. I will keep you posted in a non-descriptive, non-gross kind of way. I picked up this Jason Nourishing Apricot Pure Natural Deodorant Stick. You know, it's probably best to try to avoid as many like chemically things that you can. So I thought I would start with my deodorant because you gotta start somewhere. Um, and I saw this one and it was on sale. Um, it smelled pretty decent. Whether it will actually work and keep me from being sweaty um, and gross, I will have to also get back to you on that. So we're doing good. I will give you updates on my clogged pores and my underarm sweat. So there you go. Then I picked up this set, um, this 12 piece set of styling combs by the brand Scoonchi, I think is how you say it. Um, this was like three bucks and between me and the kids, we're always either misplacing combs, losing combs, breaking combs, can't find a comb. Um, so I just picked this up for sort of like everybody in the house. Okay, so I've used the Crest White Strips um, quite a few times in the past and I like them and stuff. They are like super crazy expensive and I just can't justify like buying them continuously. So I saw this and I don't know, like this could be totally um, not legit. <laughs> I've never really heard of it. So it could be knockoff, like doesn't even work or it's gonna make my teeth fall out. I, I don't know. And it's by Plackers and it's the Intense One Hour Lightning System. So I actually got two of these, one for me and one for my hubby because you know, 
when you're with somebody, you don't you like you don't want one of you to have like extra white teeth and then the other person because then the other person's teeth end up looking like extra not white. You have to whiten together. That's my that's one of my rules for a happy marriage, a happy relationship is you have to whiten together. And the next time you see me, I may have blindingly white teeth. So here's hoping. Ever since I had my last little one who was over here, um, I haven't been getting a lot of sleep. Not that I was getting a lot of sleep before, but I've extra not been getting a lot of sleep. And in turn, I've been drinking way more coffee than I used to before. So I've really noticed like a dullness on my teeth. And the Crest 3D White toothpaste um, really did help in that whole thing, but it kind of like did so much and then sort of just stopped. It didn't really go that far you know i found this one and this is the plus white coffee drinkers whitening toothpaste so i thought this would be like a good sort of product to use hand in hand with my no name um whitening strips and my no name um toothpaste i've been wanting one of these for like ever and the only reason why I didn't get it was because they were always so darn expensive. It's the Infinity Pro Conair 2-inch um, Spin Air Brush. Okay, I've used a version of this. I don't know, to be honest with you, if it was Conair and if it was the same. Probably it wasn't the same one. But I've used a version of this um, ages ago, like when I was a teenager. And I don't know, you, I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is super crazy, insanely thick. And it's fairly long now, but when I was younger, I had it like... I mean, there was a point where it was like down to my waist. Um, but my hair is so thick that blow drying it is like, I mean, nowadays it's not even an option because it just takes me too long and my arms feel like they're gonna fall off. I love this thing because it's basically like a blow dryer and a brush built in and it spins and so it like kind of does the, the, the brushing and the styling and the drying like all at once. I mean, this thing is freaking genius. I love this thing. This was regularly $60, guys. I got this for $14.99. Like, insane, crazy, good deal. This is the Ripped in 30 workout DVD. You know, I've had five kids. To be honest, I'm not like in the worst shape of my life, but as my husband likes to call me, um, I'm skinny fat. For most of my life, I haven't really had to try very hard to maintain my weight. Just That's just how I've always been. But I've never really been in shape, which are two different things. So even though I'm slender, I mean, I could totally be in way better shape than I am. So this will be in conjunction with everything else exercise related. They were having a buy one, get one free on all of their CoverGirl cosmetics, like everything. So needless to say, I picked up some stuff. I've actually wanted this for a while um, and it's the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless, Simply Ageless Eye Corrector. It's basically like a concealer um, and it has like, I think it's like moisturizer sort of swirled in with it. And this is the Liquiline Blast Eyeliner Pencil. This is in the color Brown Blaze. I have this already in the black color and the blue, I think. It's either the blue or the green I have, but I already have these in a few other colors. I thought I would get brown just for like a softer everyday look. They go on super smooth, they're creamy, um, they last all day. Um, these are great, so picked up that as well. Two of the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balms. The first one I got is in 215 Watermelon Twist. Sort of an iridescent, um, bright pink color. And then the second one I got is in 250 Scarlet Twist. And this is basically just like a, it's a deep red, but it's still bright if that makes sense. Yeah, I thought these were really cute for spring and summer. And then the last, um, then the last like makeup product that I got from Rexall was the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. I've never used this before. I think this was about five or six bucks. What I like about it is that it comes with two different shades of brow powder, and then it also comes with a clear wax to set the powders. Then I took a trip to Shoppers Drug Mart a couple of days ago. Trio of things I picked up were these Balea face masks. Can you tell I'm like, I'm really trying to like fix my face here, people. So the first one that I got is the Pore Minimizing Face Mask with black currant and soybean. 
the Skin Firming Peel Off Face Mask um, in Honey and Caramel. An anti-aging mask. We could all use a little bit of that. Actually a microdermabrasion face duo with alpha hydroxy acids. So this is like a two-step kind of process thing. So I'm excited to use all of these. A Rimmel Stay Matte pressed powder in transparent. Then I picked up the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer. Yeah, I thought I would try this out in case the Olay thing didn't work. You can never have too many concealers. I got one of the Scandalize Waterproof Coal Kajal liners and this is in the color turquoise. I have this in nude, I believe it is, um, that I use for my waterline. These are great as well. Super cheap, super inexpensive, work great and awesome. They're also super creamy and stuff. Um, so I'm excited to use this like on my lower lash line. 24 hour waterproof scandalized eyeshadow sticks. And I got mine in the color bulletproof beige. It's just this iridescent, like a pearly, pink kind of color and I thought this would be great either as a base or even just on its own. Just two more things. Um, this is from Essence. First thing I got was a nail polish and this really pretty blue. This is called Shopping. And then I got this blush and it's called It's Popularart. Like A-R-T, popular, but it's popularart. <clears throat> it sounds really weird when you say it. And look how pretty this is. Is this not gorgeous? A peachy corally blush and it's got like a gold overspray on it I'm pretty sure that it's just like a layer of it I don't think it goes all the way through but I just thought that was so pretty and this was like three dollars I thought it would be a pretty color for spring and summer there you have it that's it I got to the end of my haul this is probably one of like the bigger hauls I've done from the drugstore like I said I have not um, I've not bought this much stuff in quite a while. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And if you've tried out any of the products that I mentioned, let me know what you think. If there's anything you want to suggest to me that's new in the drugstore, feel free to leave that down below as well. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel um, so that you can get updates on new videos that I post. I will link all my other channels down in the info bar as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Here's the little monkey who was making all the noise and all the huckle-buckle in my video, right? Here's the monkey. Here's the little monkey. Here's my little monkey. Yeah. 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 Can Mama have a kiss? I'll take a kiss then.